Occasionally it helps to create what's called a mask layer um, to help emphasize something that you want to show more clearly and draw attention to on a map. So in this example, uh, the Arnold Rim Trail in Calaveras County in uh, California shows kind of a long and tortuous uh, trail coming down uh, through several areas and what the authors have done is left the trail and immediate area clear and created a semi-transparent mask to surround it uh, where you can still see the terrain uh, and identify features but your eye is just drawn to uh, the area of the trail as, as, as well as obviously being able to see that clearly. So I'll use as an example uh, Yosemite National Park and we'll create a mask using the uh, boundary layer and what we'll do is we'll cut a hole in a mask layer I create um, and then from there create the uh, transparent mask. So you go to whatever folder you keep your data in and right click and you're going to create a new shape file and you'll call it uh, Yosemite mask and make it a polygon layer assign a coordinate system in this case uh, UTM zone 11 north and then you go into edit mode because you want to create the feature and in this case we're going to create a rectangle lock the uh, create features in place choose the rectangle tool and then just draw a rectangle for the area that uh, you want to create the mask for uh, and you can also use any of the other tools like say the freehand tool to uh, uh, create uh, a specific area so anyway we save and stop editing and now we use the search function to search for the erase tool and I've already got it up here but you just type erase into the search box and uh, it's kind of hidden under that other bar and um, it gives an explanation uh, on the right here how it works you have your input layer which is going to be uh, the Yosemite mask layer and you have your erase feature which will of course be the boundary which will cut the hole um, and your output is going to uh, uh, be a sort of a donut hole like thing and then uh, choose the path you want it to go to and the name and we'll just keep with the default and then OK and you'll notice in the lower right it shows you that the erase tool uh, feature is running it takes just a couple of seconds and notice how the uh, layer is automatically put at the top of your table of contents. We'll get rid of the mask uh, that's underneath and you're left with uh, a layer showing uh, just the map of Yosemite. Now I'll change that yellow background to a gray and we'll choose the 20% gray shade but you can fool around and see what works best for you. Uh, and then uh, click OK and you get the gray background and now we'll use the effects toolbar uh, and effects uh, gives you some other options in, uh, in changing various uh, visual uh, effects and we'll use the drop down make sure we choose the Yosemite mask and then the transparency slider box the uh, slider bar and put it about 40 percent but again that's something you can fool around with to see what works best for your map and notice we get a mask now that's transparent such that you can see the terrain underneath we'll zoom in a little closer and uh, you can see a little more detail and uh, um, once again you know adjust that according to what you need 
And uh, so that works, the erase tool works between uh, two different shape files or feature classes, one to cut the other. And if you want to uh, uh, just do one within the same shape file, use the clip tool in the editor drop down. Okay, thanks.